Hey, today we're talking about uh, our double and single jacket hose that we carry on FireHoseDirect.com. All our double and single jacket hose is made in America, manufactured in North Carolina. All the couplings are made in America also. So let's talk a little bit more about the difference between a single and double jacket hose. A double jacket hose is what the fire departments all around the United States use. They all use double jacket hose because of the durability and the, the test pressure on them is high. But um, let me explain to you the difference between a, a double jacket hose and a single jacket hose. Sometimes we refer to as lay flat hose, um, double layered. Uh, we call it typically just double jacket hose. And uh, let's take a closer look at it and I'll explain it to you. So every single and double jacket hose has the same rubber liner inside here. It's a rubber liner and then a, the first single jacket hose will just have this white part here on the hose and they call that single jacket hose. The double jacket hose has an extra layer or extra jacket that they slide over the single jacket to increase the pressure and the durability of the hose. So if you're, if you're rubbing your hose on a concrete or pavement a lot, it'll wear out the double jacket part and it'll protect the single jacket. If you have a, uh, an application that you do a lot of dragging of the hose, always go with double jacket hose. If you're going to use it just a few times and you want, um, you can go with the single jacket hose. But remember, once you wear through that single jacket hose, it goes right into the liner and that creates color to a hose. You actually increase the durability of the hose. It's sort of like adding a paint or a color coating to it to protect it. So any color helps out the hose. So if you buy a single jacket hose with color, typically it's going to last longer than a single jacket hose without color and vice versa, the same with a double jacket hose. So if you're looking for the best hose in the market, it's always going to be a double jacket hose with color made in America. That's the most durable hose out there. So let's put that away for right now and let's talk a little more about our American made double uh, jacket hose. Most double jacket hoses come with a, a male and a female coupling. They, they can connect together and it comes with um, either in an aluminum or with a brass coupling. All right, let's talk about the aluminum. Every fire department in the United States uses aluminum. And probably 90, 95% of our stuff that we sell is always aluminum. But some applications will call for a brass coupling or a um, swivel. This is a, this is the female side which swivels. Some applications call for a brass, like the Coast Guard or if you're by salt water or it's a marine vessel or a chemical plant, something that can corrode the coupling. We always like to go with brass, but it's more money. Typically, most applications do not need it. It's also a little bit heavier, but always kind of go with the aluminum unless you need this brass. Alright, so those are different types of couplings. It's an expansion ring coupling on here. So once these couplings are on here, you can't fix them. You know, the homeowner can't fix it or fire department can fix it unless you have an expansion ring. Once their couplings are attached to the hose, they become the strongest part of the assembly. The hose will break before the couplings come off if you have a pressure. This hose is designed for water only and not designed for any air. So let's talk about the different threads you can buy. You can buy NH thread or NST thread. That's considered sometimes in the market called fire hose thread. That's a very coarse thread. About 80% of the country uses NH or NST. Uh, if you're not sure what type of thread your fire department uses, go ahead and call the local fire department and ask them. Like in New York City has their own thread, Chicago has their own thread. So it's a somewhat confusing market, but 80% um, of the time or more it's going to be NH or NST. And remember, NH or NST can only connect to another NH or NST fitting adapter or nozzle. NH is only compatible with itself, NH. All right? So the other one is called NPSH, which is called pipe thread sometimes. Now this is an NPSH um, coupling, and so you'll always see it also stenciled on their NPSH on the female coupling and swivels. Now what's special about the NPSH, it will not go on to NH, but it will all go, it will go on to a, let's say a PVC pipe, Say you have a metal PVC pipe or a metal pipe or a PVC pipe and it has, it has MPT threads on there. The NPSH female only will thread right onto that. Okay, and it'll seal with the gasket, which allows you to take this on and off many times. So that's what's nice about NPSH. The bad thing about the NPSH, the male side of an NPSH coupling will not thread into a female MPT. So if you have a PVC pipe over here or a galvanized pipe and it's got a female and this is NPSH, this will not go on there. And remember, when you're buying a nozzle, buy the same nozzle thread that you buy the hose. So if, for example, you have NPSH fire hose, use NPSH nozzle. All right? And 
So the next, MPSH is typically you found in an industrial market, NH is found in, a, in the fire hose market. So let's say you find a hose, you're trying to figure out what type of hose. One of the biggest mistakes people make with a hose, they have, and this is an inch and a half hose, people think they have two inch hose. And the reason they measure two inch hose, they measure the outside diameter of, the, of this male coupling and it comes out to be two inches, it's truly inch and a half hose. Sometimes they also measure this, they measure two inch and it's actually inch and a half hose. So if somebody tells us that they have a two inch NH, it's probably going to be incorrect 99% of the time. So a couple ways that you can test that with simple tape measure or ruler. Go ahead and measure the outside diameter of the male. Don't measure the, the female. And the other thing is on the female, there's always a, a gasket in there. You can pop this gasket out of here. And let's say you have an inch and a half hose. You pop the gasket out and you measure the outside diameter of that. It's going to be two inches. But the inside diameter is going to be inch and a half. And that's the waterway that we're measuring, which hence calls this inch and a half hose. So, um, so just to recap everything we talked about, um, if you have a colored hose, if you drag a colored hose on a concrete and you rub this like this, this colored hose is going to be more durable than a white hose. Um, two different types of couplings. We have a aluminum couplings. We have brass couplings. We have two different threads, NH or MPSH on that. Um, and let's see, and the last thing, if you get in a situation that you put these two together, and they get a little bit too tight. Really, is you just use a, a standard, we call it a, a spanner wrench. You can just use a spanner wrench. Typically, people buy two of them. You put one in this direction and one in the opposite direction, just like two wrenches, and allow you to tighten these a little bit extra to prevent from leaking, if that's important to you. Okay, and the last thing to remember, always on the single and double jacket, buy American. Thanks.